Hi everyone. So I finished my fabric album off and I thought I'd give you a show. I didn't, um, I went ahead and put the cover on because I'm not in a position to do step by step tutorials or anything like that at the moment because I have a very small space that I work from um, and it was just easier to just go ahead and finish it off. It was quite easy to put the cover on, it was just a matter of sewing it to the um, the little bits that were left at the end in the same way that I'd sewn the pages on so it wasn't difficult at all. It was more the layering of everything that made it um, a little bit more time consuming but I think with these kinds of books um, it's time consuming anyway. Especially if you're sewing it, there's um, many hours work in this. It's probably if you're after something a bit quicker, gluing would probably be a much quicker quicker way of putting one together. Okay so this is my front cover that I've made. I have a little bit of, I hope I'm not making you dizzy or anything, a bit of wedding applique there. I think that was from Annie's store and also some lovely trim there from Zendelay. Some handmade flowers just there. We have a, a brooch there and some more flowers, a string of pearls, We've laid doilies underneath. I have my snippet there with my title in it. There we go, 1850s to the late 1860s, the crinoline. Of course, the crinoline was the underskirt of the dresses that um, gave them their shape, the hoop skirts. We have some jewels in amongst that seam binding bow there. And then underneath all this, I... Actually, if I just pop it on its... On the back you will see, there we go, there's the wedding applique and the other trim. And this is actually part of a skirt I got from a thrift store and I just um, cut the lower ruffle off it. And I thought, well, you know, it sort of mimics the old dresses. So I put that on the back. So that's the back. And that's the front. Okay, so we'll have a quick look through it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking at it because um, I've filmed it about three times so far. <laughs> so far and I've had nothing but trouble with my computer and that. So here we go. Okay, on the first page here, I have just done a rundown of what the crinoline is and why it was invented and how long it was fashionable for, etc, etc. So I've put all that there and I may just... Um, copy and paste that into the description box if I remember as well so anybody interested in reading that may do so. I've added a few flowers and a bit of um, trim around there with some pearls I've sewn on. On this page this was my first page I think if you watched the first video you would have seen it the only difference is I've added a few pearls around the picture. And then we move on to our Second page, and there's so many layers it almost gets a little bit confusing where the pages are. This is the first one. I've picked out the, it's a, like a violet colour in this one. The violet lace is from DK Crafts. All the coloured laces used in this are the nylon ones. Everything else is 100% cotton. We have some lovely handmade lace down there under that brooch. A few beads I've sewn on. A little bit of applique up the top there from Zendelay. I've actually covered the doily in this little bit of organza fabric as you can see around here. Okay, and on this page we have just some bits of lace. A lot of this um, this one is very old. It's off this piece of fabric which was actually part of an old food covering. It had deteriorated in quite a few places so I salvaged the lace and used it in I think I used a bit over here as well, just it was starting to rip in that, so we've put it there. Some flowers, a few sparkles amongst the flowers. I've put the lace over the doily in the background here just to add that little bit of violet because I really don't have a lot of that colour at all. So that's the second set of pages. As you can see, I've just popped a piece of lace in between each of the pages to finish it off nicely. And the third page, all the pictures, they, they have one 
sort of colour in common on both pages so I've just used that colour as the accent. This one obviously is green, I don't have a lot of green either. I had some very wide green satin which I've placed under this old lace here. Applique, vintage laces. This little bit of trim here was from Angie. Thank you Angie. Some old lace there and some beading which was an old necklace. I've used a few old necklaces in the book. I think it gives a nice touch. And there we have this lace which I got from eBay. It's quite old. It was very smelly actually so I had to give it a very careful wash and it's a little bit stained in a couple of places but I really like it. It's a lovely old lace as you can see. So there's that page there with some, you know, there's doilies underneath everything. It's layer upon layer and sometimes you think, oh, does it really need any more? But then I think, well, that's why I bought them. Okay, straighten that up a bit. I love this page. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's in both pictures. There's pink and blue. So we've got one page of each. Once again, strips of pink and nylon lace. Everything else is cotton. We have a little crocheted flower here. I think that one was from Kimmy. And these gorgeous vintage buttons. I really love those. They have the biggest shank on the back. It's like a bit, bit twisted, bit of wire. So old. There's some more of that salvaged lace there. As you can see, it's a bit tatty. Old necklace I've strung there. So I like that one. It's like a nice swag effect. And then there's this one. Looks like they're going to a ball or something. Look at that beautiful applique. That's quite an old applique that one. I love that. Some of this trim that's from Zendale. Big piece of lace behind it all there. Some more of that old, old lace. And I've actually, this is a trim that I got as well which was, it's, it's deteriorated also. There's a few little holes in it. And I just took a sequin and a little pearl off some wedding applique and stitched it in the middle of that just so it would tie in with that nice big applique up there. And then just part of a necklace down the bottom to finish that off. So that's, I like that page a lot. It's very pretty. Love the dresses. Don't you just love the dresses? It's all about the dresses. I want to go and I want to see Gone with the Wind again now because I love that movie. <laughs> and this is a, a more darker page. We have some glass beading down here with some trim. Oh, that one's nylon too. That's a, a newer one, that one. The black is from DK Crafts, it's also a nylon one. We have an applique, this is a bird brooch that I've actually, I haven't cut the back off it, I've just pinned it to it. And some flowers there, and a bit of fabric I've placed behind. And then the very last, oh and I've ruffled the lace, which is more of that vintage lace I had to wash. Um, and this is the last page here and I've popped a pocket on this page just so that I, um, I can type up the information where I got everything, what site I found the pictures on and um, put it in that pocket for just future knowledge. And some beautiful, beautiful lace here, that's also from Zendale. And Zendalee's on YouTube. She often sells laces and wedding appliques and things like that. So I was lucky enough to be able to buy some from her. And that's, that's it. And you've seen the back cover. So let's just pop it on the front again. And there we go. There is my fabric lace doily book. Thank you for joining me Joining me, and I hope you like the book I made. I'm so happy that I made it. I'm so happy that I've finished making it. I will definitely be making another one but it will probably be um, different to this particular one, different style. So you know I, I'd prefer to have, if I make a few, to have them all a little bit different to try out new looks. But I'm very happy with this. Thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.